Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA and CSENT video practice exam for you today. One, both, or neither. And it sounds either like a Lifetime movie title or a Ted Knight sitcom from the 80s. I'm not sure which. But in either case, what I'm going to do in just a moment, or literally about 15 seconds, is on the board I'm going to bring up some statements and you need to tell me whether they relate to TCP, UDP, both, or neither. So it's not just okay to say one. You got to say whether it's TCP or UDP. And let's go ahead and jump right into those six phrases. A, guaranteed delivery. B, uses windowing. C, connectionless. D, used with protocol that dynamically assigns IP addresses to hosts. E, error detection via sequence and act numbers. And then finally, F, found at layer 3 of the OSI model. Now, if you want to pause the video, certainly go right ahead, but we're going to go ahead and go through the answers right now. Guaranteed delivery A, that's definitely TCP. That's one of TCP's advantages. We have the guaranteed delivery as opposed to UDP's best effort. Uses windowing, that is also strictly a TCP feature. Now, connectionless refers to UDP, and connection-oriented is usually the phrase you see uh, used with TCP. Now, D is kind of a two-in-one question, because to answer it, you have to know what protocol we're talking about here. And the protocol that dynamically assigns IP addresses to hosts, that's DHCP, and UDP is used to help DHCP operate correctly. Now, error detection via sequence and act numbers, that's definitely TCP. And then finally, found at layer 3 of the OSI model, and this is kind of 2-in-1 as well, because you got to know what layer 3 of the OSI model is, and it's definitely the routing layer, and you don't find either TCP or UDP here. You find them at the transport layer, which is layer 4 of the OSI model. Thanks for taking today's video practice exam. we got over 200 free, 250 free videos, that is, on YouTube, growing every day, and I hope to see you out on our Twitter and Facebook pages as well. I'm Chris Bryant, thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.